a lot of people are comparing this to Six Million Dollar Man. What do you think of the comparison? I'm trying to get that noise down where you can't see my mouth. So it's like, <laughs> but it's not working yet. So, no, it's a good comparison in in this way. Uh, deals with human enhancement. So that was really a fantasy back then. That is a reality today. Um, there's a guy at MIT developing prosthetic lenses that are better than our own and that are stronger, faster than our own. Uh, so this is happening today. There are neural implanted chips which can uh, help the quadriplegic uh, use their wheelchair and guide it with their mind and process. This is real. This is happening today. And because technology is exponential, which means the more knowledge we have, the more quick, the quicker we can get more knowledge. It's building on itself so quickly that this is 10 years. We we'll have some sort of enhancement, all of us, one way or another, soon, sooner or later. What, what drew you to this character? What excited you about this show? Well, it's a skill set I hadn't gotten to use that much. Uh, I've, I've been tactically trained in, with weapons and stuff and martial arts I've done in my life. And I have three brothers, so I've been watching James Bond since a kid. Everybody, you know, every boy growing up wants to be a secret agent at one point. So it's just something I've always wanted to do. And the fact that it was uh, very current technology and my three brothers who are in computers, they were telling me all this amazing things that are really happening. So it just intrigued me, very intrigued me right now. Uh, What's the biggest disadvantage to having a chip in your head? <laughs> I was talking to the creator about that, which we're going to explore in other episodes, but disadvantage, I mean, what about information flow? What about viruses, hackers? Um, there's some dreams. What if you can't stop your flow and dreaming? How can that mess with you? There is going, there should be, and I hope that there's the exploration of the dark side of this. Uh, because there is no So we'll see where that is. It's a learning curve for Gabriel in here is how to deal with it, how to deal with it. Control. Uh, so that's, that'll be an interesting exploration. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> How's the action scenes for everybody? I know you guys are running around every episode. You gotta work out. You know, so me getting up from my desk, walking out down the hallway. That was my big action scene. She's walking so around. So tactical at that. I couldn't believe it. You know, my heel, Jimmy Choo shoes. That was on a cement floor. That was more exhausting than all the action I felt. Anyway, I, no, I can't really comment. I didn't do it. But aren't they amazing? It is? Yeah. Yeah, they will be. I just, for some reason, the first time I saw the pilot in my, like, the fight scene that I have, I did that myself. And then this time watching it, we snuck in and I watched it with everybody. My hair was, like, in my face. I was like, it looks like I have a stunt double. You can't even tell that it's me. Oh, no. So it was me, just, just to clarify. I love that. Night, night. She's very good. Well, I have a question about when um, Gabriel is he's processing information. We, the audience, sees his visual representation of that. When you guys are working on those scenes, where he's processing and we're seeing that. Um, how difficult is that for you guys? Like, what are you looking at? Is it green screen? Or? Well, I didn't have any scenes uh, in this one. It's tough. You guys had a but yeah, you had that. We're figuring it out, actually. Basically, we talked about this, uh, the creator and I talked about it because we were like, well, wait a second, it can't be where you're like, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got to figure something out. I tried that on him and he didn't like that. But uh, I was like, well, what is it then? Um, it's basically as, as simple as me having an in moment and an out moment. You know, it's something we do every day if we check in. So if I ask you a question, you still have eye contact or maybe you look at something. You're having a thought. That's as simple as it. So it's not gimmicky, it's not a gadget type thing. It's really what we do every day. We check in, we pull up information in our heads, we come back out. We deliver with an idea of what we just found, right? 
So it's exactly what we do. They just put in the, they show you what is actually going on in here. So that's, it's going to be tough so to get that clean. I'm really figuring that out, how to make it clean, but so, but that's pretty much it. <laughs>